Okay, my next question is, Finland and Sweden are joining NATO. How would this affect Russia? If Finland and Sweden were to join NATO, the implication would be that the Western rope around the neck of Russia would be tightening. And if you keep on tightening that rope around the neck of a man, and if he has the power to remove that rope, he will do so at a time of his own choosing. That is precisely what's going to happen. If you keep on tightening the rope around Russia's neck, as they have done with these enormous sanctions, which are sinful, sinful economic sanctions on Russia, monetary sanctions on Russia. If you keep on tightening the rope around Russia's neck and by expanding NATO all around Russia, you have declared war on Russia. And when Russia does respond, don't be surprised. Russia will remove the rope around its neck at the time of Russia's choosing. And that would be a great war. Nuclear war. Turkey has threatened to derail Finland and Sweden's plan to join NATO. Is Turkey supporting Russia? I am not at all impressed by Turkey's gymnastics. <laughs> Turkey is on this side and Turkey is on that side. And Turkey is not fooling anybody except Turkey itself. Um, the one thing that is consistent in Turkey's foreign policy and in Turkey's relations with the outside world is the insistence, the dogmatic insistence of continuing in the footsteps of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire had one consistent um, profile, and that is perpetual war on the Orthodox Christian world. If I'm wrong, correct me. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me what is right. The Ottoman Empire waged bogus jihad on the Orthodox Christian world for 600 years. The reason why the Ottoman Empire did that, the reason why the Ottoman Empire changed Hagia Sophia and made it into a masjid, the reason why the Ottoman Empire waged war on Constantinople in defiance of the Quran, in defiance of the Quran, was because the Ottoman Empire wanted to sabotage the end time friendship and alliance between the world that follows Nabi Muhammad I'm not talking about the sheep and the cattle. I'm talking about those who follow the Quran and the Prophet and the followers of Nabi Isa Islam. Even though they have the Trinity and they worship Jesus as the Son of God, yet Allah still favor them in Surah Turu. Yet Allah still favor them in Surah Turu. It is this end time alliance, friendship alliance, between the followers of Nabi Muhammad the followers of Jesus that the Ottoman Empire wanted to sabotage. And my response to you, Dean, is that Turkey under Erdogan is following exactly the same policy of the Ottoman Empire to sabotage a friendship and alliance, end time friendship and alliance between the world of Islam, the true world of Islam, and the world of Christianity which follows Jesus. So whether Turkey agrees or does not agree, eventually the Turkish decision will always be in favor of NATO.